Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to customize folder and file icons. So it's easy to customize any icon in Mac OS X. All you really need to do is copy and paste. Let me show you. So here I've got a folder and it's got a standard folder icon now. And I'm going to change it to something else. So I select it and I go to File, Get Info or just simply Command I. And it brings up the info window. In there you can see the icon in the upper left hand corner. And you notice if you click on it, it selects the icon. Now from here I can copy and I can paste. So for instance if I wanted to create a copy of this and put it in the buffer, I could just Command C or Edit Copy. If I wanted to paste another icon over this, I could do that. So for instance, let me take this RTF file here and I'll do Command I. I'll select the icon, copy it, then I'll close it. Then I'll go to the folder here, Test Documents, and I'll do Command I on that. I'll select the folder there and Command V or Edit Paste, and I will paste the icon there. And you can see it's replaced the folder icon. If I close it, I can now see that the icon for that folder is right there. Now it might not be ideal. After all, that sign, it kind of looks like it's a document, not a folder. But you can see how I've easily replaced it. If I'm going to delete it and revert to the default icon, all I need to do is select it and press the delete key and it reverts to its default icon. What if I want to create a truly customized icon? I can select it here and I'm going to copy it out of there and then I'm going to work with it in a graphics editing program. So let's say I could use Photoshop or Seashore which is a free graphics editing program. And I'm going to create a document that's 512 by 512 and I'm going to make sure it's got a transparent background. And that's how you do that in Seashore. Now I'm going to paste what I've copied in here. Now I'm going to paste what I've copied in here. And we'll paste it in and I will set it in its position. So now I've got the folder icon. That's actually what it looks like at full resolution. And now I can draw on it. So let me just put a paintbrush and then just draw something simple on it. If you're an artist, you'd probably make something better than this. Now I've created a new icon here. I can uh, simply select all and copy it out of there. Go back to the info window here and select the icon, paste it in. And you can see now my new icon's pasted in there. Let me hide Seashore there and now I can look at my finder window and I can see I've got the new icon here. I can even look at the icon view and see that uh, if I go up one level, there's the test documents right there and I've got my icon in. So here's something that may even be more useful. So I've got this folder here full of images and I decide I want to have an icon that represents that there are these Photoshop images I'm editing. So I can create a new Seashore document and I'm going to create it as 512 by 512 transparent background. And then I'm going to select the icon here for images, standard default folder. I'm going to set it in place. Then I'm going to go into my applications folder and find the icon for Photoshop. And I'm going to grab that from that file. And then I'm going to go back into Seashore and paste it there as a new layer. So I now I've got two layers, the folder and then this icon here. Now this icon is, is much bigger than I want it to be so I'm going to uh, scale that layer down say about 60 percent and see how that goes. And then I'm going to move that so it's kind of in the middle of the folder there so I've created a, a folder of Photoshop documents. And then I'm going to uh, merge the, the layers down so I have one image there, uh, select it all and copy and then go back to the info window where I've got my images folder selected and paste it in there. And now if I go to my documents I've got this nice folder here that shows that it's a folder full of Photoshop documents. You can do this with folders or files. So if you have a file that you want to customize the icon for you can do it in exactly the same way. Uh, you can grab images off the internet, you know, off of clip art sites or collections. You can create your own in various different image editing programs and just have a lot of fun customizing your desktop, your find your folders with custom icons. Hope you liked this look at creating your own icons for Mac OS X. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top, and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone, and iPad videos by category.